everybody, this is AHA Computing. In a nutshell, I'm your guide, Alex Nugent, and this episode is about Memristor symbol conventions. Uh, we do things a little bit differently here at Gnome, and I have a reason for the uh, confusion, uh, but I have to explain it to you. So that's what this is about, and I'll try to get through it quickly. Okay, so we have um, some symbols here. Uh, top right we have a symbol for an inductor, below a capacitor, and over here we have a resistor. Uh, now this is the symbol that the world currently uses for a memristor. And I'm showing you here the IV curve of a memristor, a uh, pinched hysteresis loop. And I'll just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to make two main points about these symbols. And uh, let me go through them one at a time. First, here's the inductor. Notice that the symbol for the inductor is both symbolically representative of what an inductor is, in this case, uh, a wire that has been wound uh, to store magnetic energy. Uh, it's also really easy to draw, right? Just like that. Okay, so symbolic uh, of what an inductor is, easy to draw. Uh, capacitor, same, same thing. You have two parallel plates. Uh, symbolically, these two lines represents what a capacitor is. Very easy to draw, symbolically representative. Uh, resistor over here, uh, actually it symbolically makes sense because it's like a kinky wire, right? Imagine water flowing through the pipe and then just making that pipe longer and putting a bunch of kinks in it, its resistance will go up. It kind of makes sense that this is a resistor. It's resisting the flow of current. And it's very easy to draw. Uh, you don't have these, these right angle uh, lines with a thing around it and a bar. It's just boom, done. Okay. Easy to draw, symbolically representative. Um, and then you have the memristor symbol here. Um, it's not very easy to draw and it's not symbolically representative. Uh, this is why uh, we use this symbol, uh, especially whenever I have to draw it on the whiteboard or the chalkboard. And the reason for it is that it is a pinched hysteresis loop and the bar, um, I'll talk to that about a second, the conventions that we use there. Um, the main thing is that it's a pinched hysteresis loop, sort of like an infinity symbol. It is very easy to draw, way faster than the existing memristor symbol. And uh, Dr. Leon Chua, the theoretical inventor of the memristor, um, has said rather famously, if it's pinched, it's a memristor. Okay, so it's symbolically representative and it's easy to draw. Two very good things for a symbol. Okay, so our memristor uh, polarity conventions uh, are also flipped from what other people are doing. And I think the way that we do it actually makes a lot of sense. And I'd just like to explain it, uh, sort of make my case. Um, our convention is that a voltage with a lower potential end on the side of the bar will cause the memristor to increase its conductance. Okay, so first of all, uh, the bar is usually on the negative uh, potential, especially with diodes, for example. Um, that opens up the question, well, what's the natural direction of conductance change for memristor? And we think that is uh, to increase its conductance. Uh, check out the adaptive power solution episode, uh, you know, down the page. Um, but basically, uh, nature tends to organize in such a way as to increase the, the dissipation, um, increase the flow through a system. So uh, really, that is kind of the natural direction. So if that's the natural direction and uh, our convention in diodes is to put the bar on the negative potential end, then, hey, let's just define it that way. Also, from electrochemistry merged with a semiconductor device perspective, uh, having the bar on the cathode makes the most sense because that's where reduction occurs. Okay, so a lot of these things actually, you know, they, they, they make sense, which is why we do it. And we draw this symbol, um, especially on the whiteboard, because it's just way easier to draw and it symbolically makes sense. We think it's just a better symbol. So, uh, you know, what do you do? Uh, you know, do you pick this? Do you pick that? Um, you know, do whatever you want. Just know that uh, if you're reading our stuff, we're going to use one or these other symbols um, and our polarity convention will be this way. So just, just so you uh, don't get too confused. With that said, good luck to you.